This is my very first night out in Russia ever, um, in Moscow. And I came out after midnight, it's like a Tuesday night or something, and I'm looking for some bar, see what the nightlife is like, have a few drinks or something. And all I know about Moscow from the few videos I saw on YouTube is that, you know, there's always a street fight or something involved in one of these videos. So, you know, I wasn't too sure how accurate that was. Um, but <laughs> sure enough, you know, I'm walking about 15 minutes and I come upon this scene of these guys fighting outside what looks like a pretty nice kind of cafe restaurant looking place and these guys are not you know some 18 year old drunk guys drinking beer or something like that they are middle-aged men dressed really nice in you know what looks like a kind of upscale little area over here but one guy his whole shirt was full of blood um, and he wouldn't quit he kept he started throwing a garbage can, all kinds of stuff, as you can see. And then they, I guess they gave him another little bit of a beating or something. And uh, I guess he finally took the hint and uh, started walking away. But I just thought it was odd uh, seeing this, you know, so soon. And the reaction of the people around there was also a little odd because they looked at it you know, kind of slightly amused, you know, a little bit of entertainment. They kind of thought it was funny. Um, and almost like um, it's nothing that new to them, like they've seen this before many times. So, you know, I was wondering if if this is what um, Moscow is going to be like, you know, if this is my first 20 minutes walking around, what's the rest of it going to be like? So. That's what I was thinking at the time and wondering um, if, if the rest of the bars and stuff were going to be like this. Um, thankfully, though, it, it wasn't. <laughs> so uh, the rest of the time, I really I didn't see anything even close to this. Here on another night, I went to a different area of Moscow. This is not too far from my hotel, um, maybe a 10 minute walk. I went into this bar here on the left. It's called Dream Bar, and that's on Mayasnitskaya Street, if you could pronounce that. Um, this this street is really popular. Um, there's a lot of things going on here. So you have the Dream Bar, which is pretty big, good music, a lot of a lot of people there. Um, and then there's all these other places. I don't even know what all of them are but um, there were some more bars some lounge kind of looking places um, a hookah type bar uh, with outside seats as you'll see coming up here so this this area is definitely has a lot of nightlife going on it was really cool no problems at all and pretty easy to get to and right down at the end of this street at the intersection is the metro station, the number one line. And the station is called Shiste Prude. And it's a very famous station um, because of its architecture and the marble walls and everything. Um, so it's actually a tourist attraction. Uh, I even went there to take pictures. Um, so it's a really famous area here. It's called Chiste Prude. It means clean ponds. <laughs> so this is the area. This is what it looks like. And there's a lot of things going on. So come by here uh, to check it out. Next is the area around my hotel called the Hotel Nomov. Uh, this street is called Saratenka. And after this intersection here, it turns into Bolshaya Lubyanka. And on the left-hand side, that building over there, there's a place called De Facto. And it's kind of like a restaurant, but at night they take the tables out and they have live bands and a dance floor and a bar. And it's really loud because my hotel was right here above this diner, this old 1950s diner, and I could hear it from across the avenue. So... Um, if you want some loud live music, go check out De Facto. But um, I would say the, the more popular place and the more packed and much bigger place is this place here, 
called just rock and roll bar and this place gets crazy like i said my hotel is the second floor above this and i, I could hear this place going all night uh, matter of fact it is a 24-hour place so um and and it goes to the wee hours of the morning um I was coming back on my first night in Moscow at about six in the morning and there were still some girls hanging out in front on the benches there just you know drunk and silly or whatever like like I said 6 a.m. Um, daylight <laughs> and it was still going of course so you can see this is just from the people hanging out outside of the rock and roll bar um, it really gets packed on the weekends a lot of guys come in here with their Harleys. Um, you know, Russians really love Harleys. I'll tell you that. That's that's one thing I definitely learned coming out here. Um, and they also really love rock and roll music because all of the songs that they play here is like American rock. And some of the songs, when people are singing along, they know. You know, the Russians know every word to these American rock songs. <laughs> I was pretty surprised. So this is what it looks like, uh, you know, pretty much all night in front of this place. Um, I did go inside and take some video, but it was way too dark to show you. But basically a bar with a DJ that DJs rock music. And uh, there's a back room as well. So there's really two bars in here. And it gets really packed, like almost wall to wall sometimes. So um, I would definitely give this place a thumbs up and definitely a place to check out um, if if you don't check out any other place I would say check this place out it definitely skews a little bit young for sure but um, you know the music's good the drinks are not super expensive or anything like that and just a good atmosphere um, a lot of friendly people I met uh, here so I can't complain except if you're trying to sleep at night uh, in the hotel above then it's maybe not so good but again pretty very cool place and um, one of the better places I would say uh, for nightlife you know craziness and drinking and all of that and even even with all that I didn't see anything crazy in terms of fights and just to show you that I'm not kidding that this place is open 24 hours uh, here I am coming back in the morning around six o'clock or so in the morning and I didn't pop my head inside the bar but you see these girls are still outside this bar and they're still you know I don't know having a good time or whatever uh, maybe they're gonna pop back in I'm not even sure but uh, they're out there all night so literally till the morning hours this place is going and if you want an actual change of scenery while you're drinking you can choose to take this party tram that I saw driving around it's an old-school tram that I don't know they have some kind of party on there with drinks and everything um, maybe you have to you know reserve it in advance I'm not sure how it works but it looked pretty crazy driving around everybody drinking on this thing so that's my video thanks for watching and Check out my next videos.